Get money, fellow ma woodworkers, not mathematicians. I'm terribly sorry, used to saying mathematicians over on the main channel of Lambel Maths, but recently I decided to create a woodworking channel because woodworking is hell of a lot of fun. And as the title of the video would suggest, we are going to see how you can create such a beautiful looking DIY tensegrity model for yourself today. Tensegrity means tensional integrity, meaning this thing can hold itself up in a stable equilibrium, this is what physicists call it, using just ten uh, tension and just a uh, um, cancellation of forces basically. So you see if I push upwards we are going to bring a bit of force onto the string but the other two strings are going to hold it upwards due to the internal tension of the model. Pretty clever, right? And this video is part of a giveaway too because I'm giving away two DIY integrity kits from Stemage.eu, my personal shop where I'm um, creating handcrafted products uh, to two lucky winners. Okay, giveaway is going to end on the 20th of August and I'm going to announce the winners and also the, the model that I'm going to build today in the video is also going to be given away. Three winners and all you really have to do is take a look at all the letters that are going to appear in the video like this one right here put them together into the solution phrase and send it to me via pycostria papaflemi.engineer up until the end of the giveaway 20th of August and then I'm going to announce the winners. So I hope a lot of people are going to participate and now we are going to dive right in. If you want to build along, go over to stemmage.eu and get yourself this absolutely fantastic looking DIY tensegrity kit that I got right here. But Actually everyone with a bent saw, just hand tools, can just craft along today. It's pretty easy, everyone can come up with a tensegrity structure. It doesn't need to have those knives and spicy, really thick curves. It's just me or is this looking kind of thick? But um, yeah, everyone can play along and if you are lazy and don't want to build one for yourself, then go over to stemmage.eu and get yourself the DIY tensegrity kit. It's actually pretty cheap. And what we are going to do at first is we are going to push all of the pieces out of their respective template part. Okay, This right here is a hook. What we also got is an arm that I got right here. And next to the arm we also got ourselves a little sending block like this one right here. It comes along with each and every model. And also we got two bases which we are going to place our arms onto later. So let's push all of these out and then we are going to send everything and put everything together. Once we are done removing all the parts, we are going to use our, I think this is 80 sandpaper. And now we are going to remove all the grades that are still here, all the inaccuracies that you got from CNCing and putting it out of the respective templates. And it should go pretty nicely with the plywood to clean it up. So let's go ahead and let's clean each and every part up and then we are going to see how they finally look. Now putting the tensegrity toy together is pretty self-explanatory to be honest. All you really need to do is take an arm and a base and put this part right here into the base. Okay? Most of the time it's going to fit perfectly and nicely on the first try. But sometimes this doesn't work out because CNCing is inaccurate from time to time and not all the wood is the same. So what you need to do from time to time is to send away a tiny little bit of the part that you put into the base. Okay and then you are going to try again. Push it in here and once it fits you're done. Do the same with the other one and also you need to take three hooks per base and push them into here too. And once we are done assembling it should look something like this. And all that's really left to do is to attach our strings with the loops that we got right here to our tensegrity model. We got a short one which is going to connect the two arms that we got, okay? So meaning it's going to hang in here like this. And the other three are going to connect our tensegrity bases. This is where the real tension is going to happen. Now let's assemble these and then we are basically done. By the way, it's actually easier if you put a small um, string here first and then start pushing all of the other strings that we got right here into their respective places. And there we go, this right here is our tensegrity structure. Pretty neat, am I right? Really like this model, it's very simplistic, 
looks pretty good even though it's just plywood and just overall it really does what it has to do you even can put a bit of weight on it up until 300 grams this is what i promise on the website and it usually works in a normal case but if it's not stable enough if you send it off a bit too much from the hooks for example then do not worry about that you can just put a bit of wood glue into here to make it even more stable let's see if it can withstand the sterling engine on top of it yes it does terribly fine <laughs> And this basically concludes today's video. I know it was just a little DIY instruction basically on how to build it up from the DIY set, but I thought I might as well present it to you guys because many people are really interested in security toys and you can even get very, very high quality ones from my website to the, the premium 10 security ones. They look pretty damn good and come in a lot of wood variants. Pretty good stuff, really good looking very durable you can put a lot of weight on it up until uh, 2.5 kilograms in rare cases it's it's pretty stable and don't forget to participate in the giveaway if you were watching the video this would mean a lot to me if a lot of people would participate and i hope you made it till the end of the video if you did enjoy this video then definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and to recommend my um, content if you like and up until the next woodworking video i'm wishing you guys uh, i should just use the regular auto right i'm wishing you guys a flammable day ciao